Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm bringing you another perfume making video. Now I published my first perfume video back in January of 2022 and it's been a very popular video. I highly recommend you go and watch that if you haven't had a chance to see it yet and you're interested in making perfume. I go over a lot of basics about why certain things work and other things don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to that first video in the description box. I highly recommend you check it out. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make two different types of perfumes and I'm gonna focus a little bit on how to create your own custom scent blend. Both of the perfumes that I'm going to show you today are going to be perfect for the upcoming fall season, so I can't wait to share them with you. I'm also going to be sharing the recipe in the description box below, so if you want to recreate these perfumes yourself, you can. If you are new to my channel, I do have a Patreon campaign, and for my patrons this week, I'm going to go ahead and write up a step-by-step detailed tutorial including amounts and percentages and links to where I purchased all the tools and equipment to make these two gorgeous perfumes. There really is a ton to take advantage of over on my Patreon campaign. At just the $5 level you can now access over three years of archived recipes and tutorials and it's all at your fingertips just at the $5 pledge. There are also four other tiers you can take advantage of, each with their own unique benefits, as well as access to lower tiers. We offer things like live monthly classes, live hangouts, monthly gift packages, and coupon codes to my favorite suppliers, and much more. I really do hope you'll check it out. It's a great way to connect with me. It's a great way to connect with other makers in the community, and it's an awesome way to support me. Thank you to everyone who's already pledged to my campaign. All of your support makes such a big difference in my life. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we are making technically a cosmetic, so it's really important that your workstation is very clean before you get started and sanitized. I'm not wearing any gloves today because I'm making tiny batches just for my own personal use, but if you're gonna be making these to sell or to gift, you should definitely put on some gloves before making your product. So the first one I'm gonna show you is how to create your own custom blend. Now I am by no means an expert in this area. These are just some ways that I've learned over the years and some tips and tricks that have worked for me. So I'm just gonna go into some real basic principles about how to combine fragrance oils to make a very full-bodied and well-rounded perfume. So you can buy single note fragrances like strawberry or vanilla or chocolate, things like that. However, when you're looking at making a perfume, you want something that's more full-bodied, layered, and complex. So there are ways you can do that combining them to make a beautiful perfume. So for me, I really like warm fragrances. So I thought about combining some of the warmer type fragrance oils together to create a beautiful fall kind of wintertime fragrance. Now each fragrance that you buy, if it's not a single note fragrance, each fragrance that you buy is going to have bottom notes, middle notes, and top notes. And therefore your perfume is also going to have bottom notes, middle notes, and top notes. Bottom notes are going to be those um, heavier type of anchor scents. It anchors down the middle and top notes of your perfume. So a perfume that has too many top notes, for instance, is going to be fleeting and kind of wear off your skin quickly, where if you, if you make a balanced perfume, those base notes are going to anchor everything down. An example of a base note would be musk, sandalwood, um, spicy smells like ginger or clove, chocolates, vanillas, Things like that that are heavier and stronger a little bit goes a long way. Your middle notes are gonna be comprised of fruits and florals. Your top notes are also gonna be comprised of things like citrus or lighter florals and lighter fruits. So that being said, how do you go about combining things? So you wanna decide for yourself what types of fragrances you already know kinda of go well together or that you like. So think of a scent profile that you like. I really like warm fragrances. So in thinking about warm fragrances, I had to decide what type of fragrances would pair well together. And I came up with a combination after lots of experimenting. It takes a lot of experimenting, you guys, so don't get frustrated. If you're new to this, it takes a lot of practice to get the, the type of uh, unique scent that you're looking for. So I 
am using a combination of some hot cocoa fragrance oil by Nature's Garden and some cocoa butter cashmere fragrance oil by Brambleberry. So these are highly concentrated. They're meant to be diluted. Now these are not single note fragrances. These are comprised of um, base, middle, and top notes. So my hot cocoa is mainly like a hot cocoa chocolatey fragrance, but it has some lighter um, kind of marshmallowy top notes to it. So it is a very beautiful hot cocoa fragrance all on its own. However, I wanted to make it a bit more complex because um, I think just wearing a chocolate perfume is fun, but if you wanna make it a bit more sophisticated, you know, you wanna add some other top, top notes to it. So I decided to go with the Cocoa Butter Cashmere because it has a natural chocolate smell that really blends well with the hot cocoa and the marshmallow smell, but then it also has top notes of cashmere, which really are just like beautiful clean notes that kind of lift up those heavier chocolate notes and turns this from a kind of hot cocoa chocolatey smell to a very beautiful kind of sophisticated alluring um, chocolate clean type fragrance. So it's very unique. And that is one thing when you're making your own fragrance oils, if you make up your own blend, nobody else will have it. So if you're selling it, that is definitely something that's a plus. So this is how I go about deciding on my combinations. So as you probably know, if you've watched my last video, each fragrance oil has its own usage rate that you can't go over. So that keep that in mind when you're creating your own blends. And if you have more questions about that, please head on over to my other video. I'll put a link in the description box for you. Um, I go into detail about that. So you don't wanna go over the usage rates, the percentages of the fragrance oils. So that came into play when I was um, designing this fragrance, but this is what I do when I'm designing fragrances. I'll get a cotton round. You can use a cotton ball or a cotton round. Doesn't matter what you have, but this is a great way to not waste product, especially because fragrance oils are very expensive and also your perfumer's alcohol base is very expensive. So this is a great way to not waste product. So all I'm gonna do is get a pipette and I'm going to start out with just a one-to-one. -one. And what I mean by that is one drop of my hot cocoa onto the cotton round and then one drop of the cocoa butter cashmere. I'm gonna layer the drop right on top of the hot cocoa drop, okay? Then I'm gonna give that a minute to sit and just kind of have the scents kind of merry and blend. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a wafting here and then I'm gonna give it a smell and decide, okay, do I like a 50-50 blend or do I think I wanna add different top notes to this, bringing in another type of fragrance or do I wanna add more of the cocoa butter cashmere to kind of lighten it up or more of the chocolate to kind of bring it more to a deeper fragrance? So there's all kinds of ways you can play with it. If you start with a 50-50, you can decide what it needs. Now, when I was designing this fragrance, I, I had all, so many cotton rounds and what you do when you're experimenting with different ratios and you're bringing in different fragrances is every time you create a combination, write it down. So I would just write down, for instance here, one to one. And then I would try out maybe two chocolate to one cashmere and I would write that down. And then at the end, you're gonna highlight or circle or put a star next to the one that was your favorite. Then you're gonna scale up. So with this particular combination, I tried so many things. I added, I had a spice note to it at one point with um, a little tiny bit of clove. I tried adding in some vanilla to this, a little bit of orange for that um, citrusy top note. It blended pretty nicely with the chocolate. But at the end of the day, I really just liked uh, these two together with nothing else. They already have their own base notes, middle notes, and top notes, and so it they, coming together made a very well-rounded perfume already. So, all that being said, let's go ahead and make our perfume. Okay, so I am just gonna be making a tiny batch of 36 grams total of this perfume. And what I'm gonna be using to make the perfume, because of course you have to dilute your fragrance oils, 
is some Perfumers Alcohol Base. Now, this comes from Voyager Soap and Candle, and they sell a wonderful Perfumers Alcohol Base. It's made for crafters. So, in my last video, I did a whole science experiment about why you should use a Perfumers Alcohol Base versus other things like rubbing alcohol or um, vodka or Everclear. So, please go check out that video if you haven't already so you can get an idea about why we're using the Perfumers Base over other type of bases. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by just pouring in 30 grams of the perfumer's base. And I did decide on a 50-50 ratio actually with this. It was just very well balanced and I do kind of like more of a chocolatey smell. So putting this base note um, with those kind of top notes of marshmallow actually really brought out the chocolate in a really nice way. So we're gonna go ahead and add in three grams of the hot cocoa directly into our perfumer's base. Okay, and smells and fragrances are very subjective. Like not every person is gonna like this, this combination, but um, that's okay. You can experiment with your own blends. So then I'm going to also put in now 3%, I'm sorry, not 3%, I'm putting in 3 grams of the cocoa butter cashmere. That'll make it a 50-50 blend of hot cocoa and cocoa butter cashmere. And my percentage here, this base, this beautiful Perfumers alcohol base can take up to a 30% fragrance load. So it takes a maximum of 30% fragrance oil or essential oil. And in this case, I am adding a 20% total fragrance load. Okay, so that is six grams of fragrance per 30 ounces of base. And we're just gonna give that a nice stir. Now, one thing I will say is this has to sit for about five to 10 minutes before you can really judge the fragrance because it has to blend and combine thoroughly with the perfumer's base. You're not gonna get a good judge of the smell until it sits for a few minutes, okay? So we're just gonna give that a good stir. And then um, I'll bring you right back in about five minutes to judge the fragrance and to pour it into our beautiful perfume containers. All right, now here are some really cute little perfume, long and skinny perfume sprayers. I really like this type of perfume sprayer. They're super easy to put into your purse. Um, I got them on Amazon and I'll go ahead and place the link to where I purchased these. They're made out of glass. And I just love the little like kind of tie-dye um, look on these. I think it's super cute. So we're just gonna go ahead and slowly pour in our perfume into these beautiful little perfume sprayer bottles. These are specifically made for perfume. It's a perfume atomizer, so it does help the spray to come out just how you want it. A light mist of a spray. So I'm just pouring, slowly and carefully pouring my perfume in. I'm gonna pour it just to the lip of this container. If you go much higher than that, you um, risk overfilling. And then it just has the cutest little spray lid that goes with it. So there's one. I don't really have a name for this perfume yet because I'm just gonna be using it for myself. So there's one, um, but it has such a gorgeous kind of sophisticated, warm, chocolatey smell, but the beautiful cashmere just brings it up so it's not heavy. Okay. And then the last one, I have more than I need here, I think. 
These little glass containers hold 10 grams of fragrance or of uh, perfume. Okay, I have enough left over here. I'll probably be pouring into another one. But there you go. Here are some beautiful custom scented perfumes. Now, let's move into the second way to make perfume. The second perfume we're gonna make is using a fragrance oil called pumpkin and sandalwood. Pumpkin sandalwood fragrance oil comes from brambleberry. Now, this way to make perfume is much easier than making your own custom blend. So if you are brand new to perfume making and you wanna feel successful before you start trying to blend your own fragrances, a great way to do that is to buy a fragrance that already is very complex, has great base, middle and top notes, already pre-blended for you. So this year for fall, for a lot of my different um, skincare and bath and body products, I purchased pumpkin sandalwood. And let me tell you, it is a beautiful, sophisticated pumpkin smell. Now you're gonna say, well, I don't wanna smell like a pumpkin pie. You're not going to with this fragrance. Um, the pumpkin in this, fragrance really just adds like a layer and a depth to it. Let me go ahead and read you the fragrance notes on this. So it has notes of cinnamon, pumpkin, orange peel, honey. There's also notes like blackberry, sandalwood, tobacco, and patchouli. So think sophisticated fall. Um, it's not a single note pumpkin fragrance. Actually, when you smell it, it just smells very warm and spicy and beautiful. The pumpkin notes do kind of shine once it's diluted straight out of the bottle. I don't really smell pumpkin that much. Once this fragrance is diluted, the pumpkin just adds just kind of a beautiful, um, like I said earlier, like a layer or a depth to it that just kind of brings that cinnamon note um, down a little bit and also blends very, very well with the sandalwood. So I am in love with the pumpkin and sandalwood and thought it would make a beautiful perfume. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is a super easy way. Find a fragrance that already has, you know, complex notes in it. Um, and you'll be making beautiful perfumes in no time. Um, with the custom perfumes, you know, you can make something that's unique to your brand so there's pros and cons to both. So all we're gonna do in this case is pour our, per this is so easy, we're just gonna pour our, pour our perfumer's alcohol base into another clean beaker. In this case, I'm gonna be making 48 grams of perfume. So 40 grams 40 grams of perfumer's alcohol base. Let me get a, big, a pipette here just to make sure I get an accurate, I'm almost there. Okay, 40 grams of your base. And then we're gonna add in eight grams of the pumpkin sandalwood. Again, this is at my favorite ratio of 20% fragrance to um, a fragrance load to the base. So my base is able to hold up to 30% fragrance. I am choosing to add in 20% fragrance. Of course, you could go up to 30% if you like. However, I find this fragrance to be pretty strong at the 20% range. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our eight grams Oh, I just need one more gram. Let me go ahead and get a clean beaker or pipette here. Just, to, oh, get that in there. Perfect. Now this little container is very full. But you can see it. You can see that this perfumer's base, it just does such a nice job of solubilizing Actually, everything that I've tried in it works very, very well at combining and solubilizing. 
So you, if you're getting into perfume making, you're going to notice that some fragrance oils stick in perfumes and on your skin better than others. But this perfume base, you can see, see how it's going completely clear? It's already solubilized. And there you go. So all we're gonna do here is go ahead and pour it into another perfume container. And here is another gorgeous, sophisticated looking, beautiful perfume container. Again, I just purchased this perfume atomizer off of Amazon. So all you're gonna do is, isn't that lid gorgeous? They're glass. And then you're just gonna go ahead. This one has a tiny opening. So let me grab a little tiny funnel before we pour. All right, so I've got a little tiny funnel in here just to make sure I don't overspill because the opening on this one is very small. And I'm just gonna start slowly pouring that in. And I, I'm gonna go to the top of that Oops. There we go. I spilled a little bit there. And then we're gonna go ahead and just place this lid back on. Isn't that gorgeous? And you have a beautiful pumpkin sandalwood perfume. All right, I'm gonna be right back to give you a little bit of a use demo with these beautiful containers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and test out the beautiful pumpkin and sandalwood. I showed you what I made in the burgundy lid, but this one I've been using in the black lid and I find it to be very gorgeous. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just take the lid off and then just kind of spray it onto your pulse points. As your body warms up, the notes of the perfume will come out and then I know in my last video, someone yelled at me for rubbing my wrist together with the perfume. So here's for you. I won't rub my wrist together when I put this perfume on, but it just smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, all of the notes are really well-rounded when it's diluted into the perfume. It smells so much better diluted. It smells great out of the bottle, the pumpkin sandalwood, but when it's diluted, it really shines. So there you go, everybody. That is how you make perfume two different ways. I hope you really liked this video. I hope you learned something. I hope it inspired you. If it did, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Please leave a comment below. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. All right, everybody. Catch you on the next video. Bye. Keep shining.